from MLK weekend all the way up to like mid-March when quarantine life officially started, I was working at the Magnolia Silos, Chip and Joe's very own, working at the bakery and it was, I was only there for like two, three months, but it was quite the eventful two, three months. And I'd often work at the register and at the register in the most face-to-face -face time with our guests. And you know, getting stories seen from all across the world is really fun. And oftentimes, you know, after we're talking, get things going, get their orders in, whatever, they'd offer tips, monetary tips, and we don't accept those, which was like, oh, it was so heartbreaking because we'd be like, they'll be like, oh, keep the change, or like looking for the tip jar, I'd be like, bless you and your family, but I cannot accept it. But what I would say instead would be, I'd take a life tip. So I'd be like, give me some life advice. I'm 21, back then, about to graduate from college in May, what you got for me, what advice? And without fail, I'm talking 100% of the time, they would all say the same thing. Some of them would offer multiple pieces of advice, but without a doubt, they'd all say the same thing. So I'd be like, you know, they'd offer me a tip, and I'd be like, hey, I can't take that, but I'll give me a life tip. And without missing the beat, they'd be like, don't get married, don't have kids. One lady even like grabbed my arm and was like, stay single, enjoy it. And I was like, okay, okay. And it'd be even funnier too, and it catch me off guard because without a doubt, about 90% of them, their spouse and or children would be like two, three feet away from them. And I was like, ain't that, that's your crew, right? That's the people you're with. But they'd still be like, don't get married, don't have kids. And now after reading this book, I understand exactly why they said that. Girl Savvy C, welcome to another episode of Cover to Cover, a weekly video series where we talk about all things books. And today I'm talking about why you will marry the wrong person by the School of Life. The School of Life, for those who don't know, is, in their own words, dedicated to developing emotional intelligence, believing that a range of our most persistent problems are created by a lack of self understanding, compassion, and communication. We operate from 10 physical campuses around the world, including London, Amsterdam, Seoul, and Melbourne. We produce films, run classes, offer therapy, and make a range of psychological products. The School of Life Press publishes books on the most important issues of emotional life. Our titles are designed to entertain, educate, console, and transform. And this book did just that. It originally started off as a New York Times article in 2016, and it ended up being the most read article of that year and so they transformed it into a book form and this book is just an essay book so it's just a series of essays broken up into three sections and those three sections are titled why you'll marry the wrong person when is one ready to get married and how love stories ruin our love lives it's only 69 pages but it's a very powerful not for the faint of hearted 69 pages it's a great new fresh perspective with just great candidness and just straight upness if that could be a word if I can use that of uh, just describing and outlining our culture around marriage and around love and how just for years since the inception of marriage of just the stages of it why we as humans and just human nature gravitate to it and then why it ultimately is just a, now just a, I think, yeah, right, 50 50. I'm gonna say like one in three marriages, one in two marriages. Yeah, 50 50 chance of succeeding or ending up in a divorce. I remember like at the beginning of quarantine, everyone was joking, like, you can't spell divorce without COVID. And I think that's just really reflective of our culture that we're in, that it's just so paralyzing and so, or not even paralyzing, so hmm, divisive, so black and white of an issue of either. Things are lovely, it's honeymoon phase, or it's like divorce, never want to see them ever again. And this book really just gives insight on that. I loved how through each section it just provided a new idea, a new fresh perspective. The school of life as a whole really stands and strives to just be an out-of-box thinker and just offering a fresh perspective on something regarding emotion emotional intelligence that we've never addressed before we've never known before and so it was able to just give me a new perspective on things and outline why things are the way they are it gives us history of marriage and just and also a reflection of pop culture's relationship to love how it shares love and how it thus explains marriage 
um, it was really interesting to see and now that I've read the book and can see it in pop culture now how just common it is for love and marriage to be portrayed in very black and white terms. So it's either like, you know, The Notebook or Beyond the Lights or it's like Temptation or Marriage Story, right? It's like it's very polarizing um, expressions of it and showing of that. And then with that, just constantly receiving that messaging and seeing that media and seeing those representations, we internalize that and believe that, you know, we're going to have one or the other. And that's, you know, just not true. And so instead, they just really offer throughout this book, through these essays, just a more holistic approach to love and to marriage and just, you know, stressing and advocating for the fact that we should have stories and give advice and just have an overall understanding that marriage is more than just you know the lustful honeymoon phase and it's not always you know the divorceful divorceful <laughs> divorcing you know hateful dreadful phase of you know the end of a relationship like it's just it's so much more than that so much more well-rounded than that and that book really offers that so i really recommend this to everyone who's not married if you are married and you feel like, you know, you see this title, hope you wouldn't want to pick it up. That's not a good sign. So I guess just go to counseling. But for those who are single, dating, and or engaged, I really advise this. Like I said earlier, is not for the faint of hearted. So it does, you know, kind of like, whew, okay, got it, noted, you know, kind of takes you back. But much needed advice and much needed schooling, much needed education on love, on marriage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Be sure to share it with someone who you think would benefit from this. Let me know your thoughts on marriage and on love and how you've seen it represented either in your family or in media or just in stories you've read, etc. As always, I'm Cindy Love. Mwah! So wherever you are in the world where you're watching this, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!